Hello, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Sai Study Circle. Uh, we are dealing with the uh, higher purchase system, uh, part three. This is a uh, fourteen marks question, which is fourth method of calculation of interest. In my first video and second video, I have not shown you the fourth method of calculation of interest. This problem is based on the fourth method of calculation of interest. Let us know. how to calculate fourth method of calculation of interest as well as again we learn how to prepare necessary ledger accounts means in the under the high purchase system we have seen in the uh, last video how what are the ledger accounts we prepare generally we prepare an asset account higher vendor account depreciation account and interest account like this we prepare four ledger accounts So now let us start with understanding what is the fourth method of calculation of interest, and how to identify the fourth method of uh, calculation of interest. See the fourth method of calculation of interest. We have to read the problem carefully. Then only we can understand the fourth method of calculation of interest. See, I read out this question. On one one two thousand fifteen, Mr. Vasu bought a car from Vandana Limited, Bangalore. The cash price of the car is four lakh forty two thousand forty seven thousand four lakh forty seven thousand. The car is purchased under high purchase system, and one lakh twenty thousand rupees was paid on the signing of the agreement. That means as a down payment, and the balance in three installments of one lakh twenty thousand each at the end of the year. means here we are paying three installments and each installment we are paying 1 lakh 20000 rupees and the rate of interest is 5% and uh, depreciation is charged on car is 10% per annum under diminishing balance method so this is also very important diminishing balance method what is asked us to prepare is to necessarily prepare the ledger accounts in the books of vasu that is bayya now how to identify this is a fourth method of calculation of interest this is as simple as it is first uh, let us take uh, what is the down payment we have paid down payment we paid is 1 lakh 20000 how many installments we paid that we will check with say installments we paid three installments we paid and in each installment we paid 1 lakh 20000 rupees so totally how much we are paying Three lakh sixty thousand rupees. That means the buyer, Mr. Vasu, has paid totally four lakh eighty thousand rupees of money at the end of the third year, where the cash price is being four lakh forty seven thousand rupees. See, the cash price is less than what he is paying at the end of the third year. That means if you deduct cash price of the asset. Four lakh forty-seven thousand rupees. Then, that means he has paid almost all thirty-three thousand rupees of interest for the three years. So that means in each installment of this one lakh twenty thousand, we have cash price as well as interest which is included in this installment. See in the second problem, second method, the installment was only cash price. and it was there was no interest is included but in this method installment is including cash price as well as interest so that means we need to understand this is the fourth method of calculation of interest and let us see how to calculate fourth method of calculation of fourth method of calculation of interest so now i will wipe it out and uh, i read out this question once again and will make a small small points will make a small points as it like uh, who is the buyer is vasu and uh, who is the seller is vandana limited and what is the cash price is 4 lakh 47000 we will make a note and what is the down payment we paid 1 lakh 20000 how many installments totally three installments and each installment we are paying 1 lakh 20 in this interest is also there and cash price is also is there and rate of interest rate of interest 
is at uh, 5 percent per annum and depreciation is charged at 10 percent under diminishing balance method BBM. So these are the necessary information which is required so that I can rub the solution I mean uh, question from the board so that it is enough to understand keeping this point in view. Now let us calculate the interest part for this question. See calculation of interest. First always we should take cash price. Cash price is 4 lakh 47 thousand. We should deduct down payment from this is 1 lakh 20 thousand. So 3 lakh 27 thousand means the vendor is giving credit 3 lakh 27 thousand in the beginning of the first year and at the end of the first year we need to calculate interest for this and interest is at 5 percent so interest 5 percent on 32 3 lakh 27 thousand rupees is 16,350 so 16,350 we have to add it it becomes 3 lakh 43,350 so this is end of the first year we have calculated interest 5% because the vendor is given credit of 3 lakh 27 thousand rupees. Now we have to deduct installment number 1. So installment number 1 is 1 lakh 20 thousand we have to deduct it because in this 1 lakh 20 cash price of the asset as well as interest is included. So therefore there is no need to include the, to this 1 lakh 20 thousand as interest because second method was that so now let us find out the balance amount 2 lakh 23,350 this is end of the first year now again e is calculated that is second year end of the second year we need to calculate interest 5 percent that is 11,167 now let us add up this 4, 3, 2, 2 lakh 34, 5, 13. Again, deduct installment number 2. See, this is the amount of interest for the second year on the outstanding balance of 2 lakh 23 thousand. The total of that is 2 lakh 34, 5, 13. Now, we need to deduct second installment amount of 1 lakh 20. Again, in this 1 lakh 20, interest and cash price both is included. If you deduct it, you get 1,14,513. So this will be the, the balance of the beginning of the third year. On this, again, we need to calculate end of the third year interest amount. When you calculate interest at 5%, see, this is what in the fourth method. This is the fourth method. Always in the fourth method, the last year, that is in the third year, we should not calculate interest. Suppose if there are four installments, in the fourth year, we should not calculate interest. That is, calculation of 5% interest, we should not calculate. Then how to find out the interest? See, at the end of the third year, how much amount we have to pay? 1,20,000. See, this is the amount actually we have to pay. But what is the outstanding balance at the end of the third year is 1,14,513. That means the difference of this 1 lakh 20 and this will be the interest for us 1845. That is 5487 rupees that we need to make a payment. That means this is the interest which we have calculated and keep it as a balancing figure. Because if you calculate 5% on 1 lakh 14,513, you will not get exactly 5487. 5487. So Therefore, we need to calculate the balance amount. Now, let us deduct the installment of third installment, 1,20,000 and end of the third year becomes zero. Now, end of the third year becomes zero. In this 1,20,000 cash price as well as interest both is included. Okay, fine. Now, let us calculate interest. We have calculated as this much. 16,350, 11,167 and 5. 
So this is the interest we have calculated. Now let us calculate calculation of depreciation. See depreciation always we should take cash price of the asset. Cash price of the asset is 4,47,000 and what is the rate of depreciation is given 10% per annum. Now depreciation for the first year at 10% is 44,700. The balance will be 204, 4,2300. This is the first year depreciation. Now depreciation 10% for the second year 40,230. Let us deduct 0, 2, 6, 3, 3,62,070. Now let's deduct depreciation 10% per annum at for the third year on this 3,62,070. So that comes to 36,207. 3,6,8,5,2,3. So 3,25,863. Now we have calculated depreciation under diminishing balance method. That means what is diminishing balance? Reduced balance. See the cash price was 4,47, 10% 44,700. Then what is the reduced value, diminished value? 4,2. So that means for the second year, we need to calculate on this 4,2300. After that, how much is, is reduced? 3,62,070. On this, we calculate the third year. Suppose if we have fourth year, we calculate depreciation on this 3,25,863. Understood? Now, we have completed the calculation of interest part as well as depreciation. Now, in this fourth method, we have one more a very important point to learn. What is that is, see, in this installment 1,20, 1,20 and 1,20, interest is included. See, as I told you in the last video, whenever we are preparing an asset account, we have to take the cash price of the cash price of the installment, but not including the interest. But in this 1,20,000, interest is included. Now we need to exclude it. So how to exclude it? Say so let us take here 1, 2, 3 and installment is 1,20,000, 1,20,000, 1,20,000. If you direct interest from this, first year interest is 16,350, then 11,167 and 5,487. Now, if you deduct interest from this installment amount, you will get the cash price. So, you will get the cash price. This is the very important point for us. Now, how much we get balance is 9 minus 6 is 3. 0, 1 lakh 3650. Here 3, 3, 8, 9 minus 1 is 8 and 0, 1 lakh 8833. From here, we get the 1, 5, 4, 1, 1. So this will be the cash price of the asset. That is principal portion of the asset which we are paying for first installment, second installment and third installment. Now, what is the important point for us? What are the important things we need to take is very simple. We have to take first interest, then the depreciation amount and the cash price of the assets. If we take make a note of this, that is more than sufficient for us in preparing the ledger accounts. Now, I will make a note for you. First, uh, Interest part first year is uh, 16350, second year is uh, 11167, 5487. Then depreciation is first year 44700, second year is 40,230, third year is 36,207. And then we need to find out cash price. So cash price is clearly given 1,03,650, one So this is the note which we have made. Now all of you understood, there is no need to repeat it, right? So I am rubbing this complete portion because we need to prepare lecture accounts. So now I will show you how to prepare 
machinery account and higher mentor account. Let's go like this. First, uh, let us prepare a machinery account or asset account. Here we have purchased a car, right? So we prepare a car account. And also below this, we prepare depreciation account so that it becomes easy for you people to learn. So sorry, making a lot of time. So now let us prepare car account and a depreciation account. Now I told you whenever you are preparing an asset account, first we should remember the down payment is 120,000 rupees which you have made. So on 1st of January 1st year to bank account down payment is 120 and at the end of the first year what is the cash price of the asset we are paying is 1 lakh 3650 to higher vendor account 1 lakh 3650 and the depreciation at the end of the first year is by depreciation is 44700 see when you write depreciation here in the depreciation account debit side you can write as car account 44700 this will be end of the first year by depreciation profit and loss account you can write 44700 thereby first year depreciation account is closed and here we need to find out the balance amount how to find is 223650 we have paid 223650 the balance will be 16, 5, 8, 13, 1, 5 plus 7, 20, 1 lakh 78,000 balance carry down. This is 1 lakh 78,000, 1st of January of the second year, balance brought down 1 lakh 78,950. Again, we have to pay to a higher vendor 1 lakh 8,833 rupees. At the end of the second year, we have to charge depreciation again, same, but the depreciation amount is 40,230. Now, let us find out here, second year depreciation is 40,230. Now, end of the second year, we need to transfer depreciation to car account 40,230. Same type, by profit and loss account 40,230. If you do side by side, like uh, asset account and depreciation account, it becomes easy for you to take the opposite entries. Now we have to find out the total value of the asset at the end of 8, 2 lakh 87, 2 lakh 87, 783. The balance is 5, 5, 12, 1, 6, 4, 2, 2 lakh 46, 553. This is balance carry down to balance brought down 2,46,553 this is the beginning of the third year this is beginning of the third year again this is first day of the third year begin end of the third year again we need to pay to higher vendor how much we have to pay 1,14,513 so Again, at the end of the third year, we need to provide depreciation. What is the depreciation? 36,000, 36,207. Now check the totals. It becomes 6, 6, 1, 11, 6, 3, 61, 66. Uh, this will be 16, 1, 5, 2 plus 8, 10, 1 carry 7 plus 4, 11, 1, 4 plus 2, 6. So 3, like 24,859. So now this will be the balance carried down. And we need to take the end of the third year depreciation as to car account 
36,207. We need to prepare again depreciation. See what is the third year depreciation is 36,202 rupees. So depreciation is credited in car account and in depreciation car account is debited as 36,207. So end of the year we need to transfer to profit and loss account that is 36,209. See this is so simple. See when you are preparing depreciation account please always take all the dates as end of the year only. End of the first year, end of the second year, end of the third year. At any cost, please don't put first. Okay. Here, first January, we take only in the car account as two balance, two bank account for down payment and balance brought down and balance brought down for the second and third year. Otherwise, all other dates should be end of the year simply. Now we have learned how to prepare car account and depreciation account. Now let us learn how to prepare higher vendor account and interest account what is that higher vendor account and interest account see higher vendor account higher vendor account and interest account this is also side by side we have to we can prepare because it's very easy to prepare and very easy to learn also okay now let us see how to prepare both accounts for this i'll take only t shape because it's a very simple account see in higher vendor account when you are preparing a higher vendor account we have seen machinery account when we are prepared or a car account when we are prepared when we have prepared a car account we mentioned two higher vendor account two higher vendor account two higher vendor account at the end of the first year second year third year see that means in car account Higher vendor is debited. Now, in higher vendor account, car account is to be credited. That's all. See, first year, end of the first year, by car account, how much you have to pay for the cash price? You have to pay 1,3650. 1,3650. And at the end of the first year, how much interest you have to pay? 16,350. See, this is the interest you have to pay. Pay okay. interest so totally 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees you have to pay so 1 lakh 20 thousand rupees you have to pay and finally at the end of the first year you paid first installment as to bank account so installment paid see so this is the amount you are due towards the cash price of the car and interest for the end of the first year totally you have to pay 1 lakh 20 and you paid it paid it similarly Third, second year, you have to pay 1,8833 rupees towards cash price. And what is the amount of interest you have to pay is 11,167. End of the second year, interest is 11,167 and thereby it becomes again 1,20,000. 1,20,000. So this is amount due. And this is your pay. So one lakh twenty thousand end of the second year. Again, at the end of the third year, you have to pay towards car one lakh fourteen thousand five hundred and thirteen. And total amount of interest for the third year is five thousand four eighty seven, and it becomes one lakh twenty thousand. One lakh. 20,000 and you paid at the end of the third year as to bank account the so third installment you paid see so vendor account this is the amount you have to pay for cash price and for the interest for the cash price and interest for the cash price and interest first year second year third year and you paid installments also now since uh, for the buyer for the higher buyer or a uh, I purchase a interest amount whatever he paid to the vendor it's an expenses so therefore we have to prepare an interest account as an expenses account first year two here interest is credited in higher vendor account and in interest account higher vendor account is to be debited and the first year interest is 16,350 and this should be transferred to where profit and loss account 16,350 Second year, 
how much interest you have to pay is 11167 and you paid and it's an expense is transfer to profit and loss account 167 higher vendor account again you have to pay 5487 as towards the interest and transfer to profit and loss account is 5487 end of the third year see it is as simple as it is when we have seen here when you have seen here see preparation of higher vendor account and interest account is as simple as it is as simple as it is because the preparation the, the preparation of the preparation of higher vendor account is very important because we need to show how much we are due to the higher cash price how much we have to pay for interest so this is about the fourth method of calculation of interest see my dear students if you want to learn more about higher purchase system please keep watching my part one part two part three higher purchase videos which is uploaded in my channel called soy study circle and if you have any questions and concerns please let me know and please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the button bell icon and please share to your, all your friends thank you so much